The Isle of Palms is well acquainted with the issue of beach erosion. Leaders there have been executing a long term beach renourishment plan ever since 2007. Melissa Rademacher joins us now from the beach where Melissa Sunday storm amplified the beach loss and the visuals of the washed away sand. Rob, it was also some docks, wooden beach accesses, beach chairs, all washed away by the storm on Sunday. That includes some beachfront sandbags. They're normally meant to protect the coast, but many drifted far and started to fall apart. So in the wake of this storm, some environmentalists are asking if sandbags are doing more harm than they are doing good. The problem, in their eyes, rises when the sandbags aren't maintained. Sandbags are often a last ditch effort in terms of beach restoration behind trucking in sand and building up the dunes. Isle of Palms has had an emergency sandbag ordinance for a few months, allowing certain beachfront properties to place sandbags as needed, but they must be taken care of so that they don't disintegrate. Yeah, look, I think we should be looking at all the types of materials that are available to, you know, do this service, right? And, uh, you know, are there new technologies available? Are there new materials available that are less impactful on the environment that aren't made out of plastic, that don't break down, but can still serve that role? And so I think, you know, there's probably some room to improve some of these emergency ordinances or some of the state regulations related to this. But uh, we, would, we would not want to see a lot of plastic material used in, in this way. The Isle of Palms is partnering with the Army Corps of Engineers for a major beach renourishment in early 2024, where they will truck in new sand to build up the dunes, mostly between 2nd and 10th Avenues. On the Isle of Palms, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.